hello everybody and welcome back to my channel i have truly missed all of my gum drops and i'm super excited for this video um the video that we're doing today is on bullet journaling this is my first bullet journal that i have ever done and i decided to do my theme on bobo tea if you know me, you know I love bobo tea. Um, I also kind of wanted to give my thoughts on bullet journal for anybody out there who is interested in getting started or yeah, just for anyone who's excited about it or interested in doing it. I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on it since this is my very first spread for July. Um my number one point that i realized that i observed doing a bullet journal is that this is not for the weak this is not for the weak it's not for the weak minded it's not for the weak okay because when i tell you i thought this was going to be I thought this was going to be, you know, refreshing, fun, you know, energizing. You're getting organized. But bullet journaling takes an immense amount of planning as well as time. Um, my Definitely my tips are to have a theme. Have a theme of what you want your bullet journal to be. Um, that makes things a lot simpler. Also have a color scheme. If you are coming in this willy nilly with no color scheme or no theme, you will be lost. You're not gonna have a good time and then you're gonna quit and never do it again because you didn't plan it out. You definitely have to pre-plan before you do your bullet journaling, okay? You can't be weak and you have to have time set aside a good a good two hours set aside to do your bullet journals because if you're new you've never done this before you're not finishing this in 15 minutes you're not two hours maybe three um so just just be prepared for that okay number two that i noticed is that for, well this is for me I am not that organized as I thought I was I'm not I'm not that organized I'm a little scattered brain um I definitely noticed that bullet bullet journaling definitely brings out um things that you just do not notice about yourself you know like I noticed that you know I'm not that organized I noticed that um, you know, things take me a really long time to do based on this spread alone hours. Um, so if you are not ready to see some things that you have never realized about yourself, do not do bullet journaling because it, sh it can show like, you know, maybe I'm not as, you know, creative or as organized or as detailed oriented as I thought I was, you know? It could definitely show, you know, maybe things that you're lacking, like, wow, you know, I have a lot of um, dates where I'm just working or I'm just paying bills. I don't do anything outside of that. And if you're not ready for that, don't do this. This is not for you. Carry on. Um, number three, I think I mentioned this already. It's time consuming. It's a lot of time. Um, as you can see, based on this first spread, we're still on the first spread. We haven't even got to the other pages. It takes a lot of time and a lot, just a lot of pre-planning that I wasn't prepared for. Um, I don't know what you can do about that, but these are just kind of my thoughts and things that I noticed. Another thing that I noticed was... If you're not like, if you're not already into bullet journaling, I don't, if you're not already into it, you're, you're going to struggle just a bit. Okay. 
I to be honest, if you don't do it, I would even recommend doing this. I would recommend you starting off small first and then work your way up because we all know <clears throat> we all know once in our lives we have all gone out and brought a journal and thought we were going to be filling it up every single day and it's still sitting on your desk empty. We've all done it before and it's going to be the exact same thing with a bullet journal. So I suggest that you start small. Get one get a calendar or a journal that's already kind of like pre-made like it already has everything in it and just add your stickers in add your stickers your washi tape and call it a day work your way up because not only do you have to eventually get to the point where you know like you have your layouts and stuff like that you also have to focus on like measurements so you got to do you got to do math you got to work on your handwriting to make sure everything is legible you got to work on your typography so when you have your titles they're bold they're attractive there's you know there's just a lot of factors that play into bullet journaling. Not only that, then you have to work on your artistry. You gotta work on your eye for detail. You gotta work on your composition. And that's a lot for someone who's never done it before. So I suggest you smart, you start small and just work your way up. No need to go waste your money and get one. And then when you try and do it and you realize all the time that you put in, and you realize that yours isn't gonna look like the like the girlies you saw on Pinterest and YouTube you've been watching for five hours before you started yours, you know, you're gonna feel upset. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself, please. Um, finally, we're on the next page. This is where I do the calendar. It took me hours because I had to figure out the measurements and I was like, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't get it. But those are just my thoughts, y'all. This is a very simple um, video. Hopefully some of my thoughts, you know, helped you before you start your journal. Um, my biggest, biggest, biggest point is definitely to start small. Start small, okay? Start small. And you know, before I go, you know another thing that I realized? I was like, am I really being productive? Is this really going to help me be productive? Because I definitely think that bullet joints allude to this idea of being productive, being that go getter, being that achiever, that goal setter. And I'm doing this and I'm just like, this journal is not helping me be these things at all. Not even a little bit. The journal is maybe a step in the right direction, but you got to do other things to be that type of person. And I do believe a lot of people fall into, I have fall into that trap that you, that you'll be like this completely different person, this amazing person, because, you know, I bullet journal now, but the truth is you're going to be exactly the same. Yeah. Nothing's really going to change. You just, only thing that changed was that you, put in a couple hours to do your journal that's it okay I don't really know where that came from I guess this is more of a rambling type of video so sorry but those are my thoughts and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of this video um I'll definitely you know keep pondering and you know, trying to see if I want to continue doing another one in August, but I'll definitely keep everyone posted. And I hope you love the video. Um, you already know what I'm going to say. You can check out my last video. So I'm going to link them above somewhere. Also, you can follow me on the Instagram and the TikTok. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.